So there's a Volta charging station right here behind me, but who are they? What uh, kind of network will they provide? Um, so to date, they're, uh, they're a pretty small network, at least in terms of um, national, nationwide availability. I'm primarily dealing at the moment in uh, level two charging. So it's free level two charging um, for usually two to three hours is the time limit. Uh, right here, this is a AMC theater. So they've put the time limit at three hours, which makes sense. It would kind of suck to have to come out of your movie to stop charging and move the car. So that's about the right time. We've done it once and uh, it worked out just fine. So there we have the app location. Showing one's available, one is not. But you can see also we have this other one just up the road. This is at Wegmans, which is our go-to supermarket grocery store but these are new brand new to this area and there's another one not too far away so there's a lot of these Volta units going in let's go and try the grocery store one my wife's been up there a couple of weeks in a row now and hasn't been able to plug in during our usual grocery timing on Saturday afternoon that's the premium time I'm sure for trying to get one of those plugs it's Sunday afternoon here might not be quite as busy. Maybe a lot of people watching the Patriots. You can see them fairly clearly up here. It's not going to be a problem to find them. We have a Model 3 on one. That's good. Plugged in. All good stuff. And I guess we'll take this one. Kind of tight little spots, but the bolts backup camera helps here. Volta Charging is based out of San Francisco. They have a little over 100 employees right now. So these are all good local activities, you know, to opportunity charge, top off your battery, um, whilst you're grocery shopping, movie, going to see a movie, you know, in a mall. All this stuff is very, um, very good for an opportunity charge. Uh, it's free right now. The biggest thing about uh, Volta Charging is that they are ad supported. So you're going to when you pull up to one of these stations, there is a big, big uh, screen and you're going to see presumably an advert. Sometimes it's just a uh, comment saying, you know, thanks for free charging. Volta is the future of charging, that kind of thing. But they have ad advertisers, uh, Wegmans, our local uh, grocery store and one based out of New York. So fairly well established in the Northeast. They're uh, an advertiser, Alaska Airlines, Hagen Dars, uh, Jaguar, which makes sense with the iPace. I've seen Nissan advertising the Leaf on uh, the local ones here, and we also have Whole Foods. So there's, you know, some decent names in there, some well-known brands, national, international brands. The model, or the uh, the way that Volta Charging is trying to position itself is, you will be in, your brand will be seen in, you know, a premium space, somewhere where there's, uh, it's very close to the front of the uh, movie theater, or the grocery store, as it's not just EV, um, you know, drivers who are going to see this advert, it's uh, people who are going into this facility, pretty much everybody who walks past that. Large glowing screen, you know, chargers, if you've ever stopped to charge in a place where they're not, you know, so common, um, you'll hear people asking you questions, looking at them. Every time I plug in, there's usually someone, if it's a high footfall area, you know, pointing at them saying, oh, it's an electric car. So, you know, there's there's an association there, certainly. And the electric uh, vehicle driver is obviously going to be the person who sees the advert, you know, most is most exposed to it. But at the same time, it's going to be everybody going into this theater, this grocery store, whatever. So it's it's prime real estate for advertising. Okay, then, so 20 miles or so over an hour. Free charge, good coffee. Let's see as we drive out here, these are well marked spots. To 
advertising is always going to be you know a thing there's uh, there's a lot of money spent on it by large brands um, and if this model proves to work then that's kind of a win-win for everybody you know it's advertisers just want attention that's what these things bring um, EV drivers you know if we can start to say well look there's a free charging option that is paying for itself it's private money coming in you know they get something we get something and it's in a place where um, that time is not wasted you know we're not sitting down waiting for the car to charge we're going to do something anyway but they are moving into DC fast charging as well the uh, first station is supposed to be down out in Norwalk Connecticut so if I get a chance to swing by there at some point I would like to try um, but the idea with their DC fast charging arrangement is that you get 30 minutes for free so that's those are going to be 50 to 100 kilowatt units I think the first one down in Connecticut will be 50 kilowatts um, it's it's a bit of an odd scenario. I can't quite picture. It doesn't gel to, for me with the idea that these shopping centers want to get people in and staying around. You know, if people only want to go there for the free charging and then they have to come out after 30 minutes, that seems too short a period to, uh, to you know, have them thinking about that constantly after they plug in. Um, it kind of depends on the pricing, you know, if it's punitive pricing that they want to get people moving after that 30 minutes, because the idea is, I guess, that you start to go to a paid model after the first 30 minutes free. Um, if it's high pricing, then people will rush back out to their cars and move away. Maybe they move to a level two um, at the site. That could work, but uh, it seems a bit of an odd thing to uh, put that time pressure on people. Certainly, I think it should be limited. I don't think you want people camping out on free charges. Uh, at all so if you can do that and uh, limit their you know time to the maximum that you set that makes sense uh, 30 minutes just seems a little bit odd so it, it definitely it puts you on another map you know quite literally this uh, level 2 charging especially free charging or complementary charging as a service that will put you on the map in terms of it puts you on plug share puts you on Volta's charging app uh, you know so there's a bunch of different ways that this can benefit local businesses um, and I encourage you if you uh, if you run a local business you know or if you uh, are in charge of uh, facilities management for a chain look at these things you know get in touch with Volta and uh, see see how their model works see what you can do so Volta is expanding they uh, have a large presence in California um, that's about one third of their their 1,000 stations at the moment um, the Greater Boston area is does seem to be a big market for their expansion. They got something like $100 million in uh, Series C funding over the last uh, investment cycle that they went through. So it's, it's big for them. This is obviously a time when they're trying to spend money, get the brand name out there, get advertisers interested, get EV drivers, you know, familiar. It really depends how much money they can bring in from advertising and if they can win over new advertisers. So they didn't say, uh, they haven't reported their revenue or disclosed it but they have said that it tripled over the last year so something is going right there's investment there are people you know new brands coming to advertise with them possibly only as a trial but it's still you know this is all proof of concept this at the is moment. um different and it's unique it's not something anyone else has seen doing so um that's positive i hope they do well and, uh, presumably expanding into their other friendly markets of uh california Colorado, specifically Denver probably, um, and Chicago. So if you're in those areas, definitely watch out for Volta. If you've had um, any experiences with Volta charging in your area, if they've been there for years and you just kind of take them as a, another part of your local charging infrastructure, please let us know in the comments. I'm interested in where they've been expanding. You know, if you've seen more of these things in your area, it, uh, it didn't even really crop up to me as a network until this past summer where we started to see them pop up locally so it's very much dependent on where you're based but um, I'm glad they're here thank you for uh, investing in the area and um, look forward to the, the next steps